In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix the issue between the Xbox application on PC and the EA desktop. Currently, you could download EA title games <clears throat> in PC if you have a Xbox Game Pass membership. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to this link here, which is ea.com. Go ahead and log in and then go over to your account settings. Okay, go ahead and log in. Okay, once you log in, you want to go down to connections. So in here, if you have your Xbox ID or account link, if it's different than the one on the Xbox Game Pass, then you would click on link. This will basically remove that account and allow you to download the other game. So if you do see an Xbox account and if it's not the same or you don't know, it's safe to go ahead and unlink the account. So once you unlink the account, the next step is to go to help.ea.com. It's two different links, so make sure you go to this link next. So you go ahead and log in. Before you log in, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and get this welcome screen if it's the first time you logged in. And instead of typing in your EA username and password, you will select the Xbox Live for the next account. So you will click Xbox Live, the screen will come up, and then you sign in with your Xbox credentials. Okay, once you sign in, that should essentially link the account. So that's step number one. Step number two is more complex. So once you have the Xbox Game Pass, download and install and you know which game you want to get like for me i want to get need for speed heat deluxe edition then you go to google and then just download the ea desktop application uh you could download it but i recommend doing it first and you click on the download now and then that should download the executable file so once you install the application I did find out that Origin does conflicts with the EA desktop application. So what you want to do is you want to right click here or press Control or Delete and then go to the task manager. So in here, what you want to do is you want to click any services related to Origin. So you scroll down or press on any of them, press the letter O and then look for Origin. You want to kill those tasks because I heard it conflicts and it did conflict on my end. All right, so the next step, step here is you need to make sure that the EA background service only is running, not the EA desktop application. And once you install the EA desktop and you log in and leave the application open and try to close it, it's gonna stay down here on the icons. So what you need to do is you need to kill this application and click exit and then essentially it should be removed from here so you only want to leave the EA background service so once you kill origin you kill the EA desktop application and then you basically log in here log in here and link the account like with the earlier then all you need to do now is let's say if, I'm, if you're looking for Titanfall uh, you could click on this link here and then once you scroll down, it's going to give you a whole list of games that you could download. So in my case, I want to do the uh, NFS, Need for Speed Heat. So you go ahead and click on the game. So from here, you click on the C in EA Desktop. So make sure again that the EA background service is running. And then you click on C in EA Desktop. And that should launch the EA application. So if you have it open already, that's the reason why it doesn't work because the, the game won't install. So in here, it should give me a prompt to install the game. 
and it didn't so again you could go to download manager and see that the game didn't download so let's try that again let's just go ahead and kill the application and then click on CEA desktop okay and again it still didn't gave me the prompt to download the game so I'm just gonna go ahead and kill the EA desktop application again and this time I'm gonna do this one here so it depends on the game I noticed that one works better than the other one so once you click on the one on the left you're gonna see this prompt here and then here you basically select the install location and then make sure you have sufficient space select your language click next and then now you get the prompt to download so you click download and then you skip this if you want to and then now you see the game downloading so it's a whole process that i find out by literally troubleshooting and it took me a few days to figure out the whole process thanks to reddit so uh, just remember that in some games you have to press this one or this one here and now you can see that EA and the Xbox Game Pass application is downloading the game. Alright, well that's how you basically fix this issue between the two applications. If you have any problems, leave your comment below and please subscribe.